Hello, group. So, since Andrew and I have both started uh, committing things to Bitbucket, I'm going to show everyone else how to do it. Um, because Andrew and I live together, and so I was able to walk him through some of the steps, and uh, we both kind of figured it out as we went along. Because um, it's a little bit different when you're the first one pushing it than when you're the second, and so on. Um, and that's because you have to pull what's already on Bitbucket onto your computer before you can push new content on. So let's get started. This will be really quick. Let's go to Bitbucket. Okay. Open up your Git Bash, which you should have downloaded. And we can say list. So you should already have uh, a directory that you're going to store your uh, repositories in. So mine, I'll put the mouse over it. Let's see, mine is called repos. So it was going to say CD repos. And uh, these, these should uh, be using Linux commands, I'm pretty sure. We can say list. So you can see I have restaurant automations there in there. So let's just say CD. And um, you can see what I have in there. So now we're going to pull what Andrew pushed on there. So we'll click these little dots. We'll click clone. Copy this. And you have to come up here, click on here, edit, paste, enter. Type in your password. Password to Bitbucket, that is. Hit enter. So I'm packing everything in. So I can say list. Now I have what Andrew pushed on there. See, before I just had manager UI1. Now I have restaurant automation. Okay. Now let's say get status. So your branch is up to date, untracked files, blah, blah, blah. Um, so now let's say you change something to this. So let's restaurant automation. All right. Now let's just say uh, let's see if this works. Touch. All right. Now we have a little file. Let's say echo. Hello everyone. Test, test, test. All right. So now we have a file. Now let's just say uh, get status again. So untracked file test. All right. Now let's push. Now that we've added something, let's push all this back. So back on a bit bucket for everyone else to get. So now we'll say something like, uh, what are we gonna say? We're gonna say uh, get. Add a okay from original line in this directory. directly. All right, now let's say uh, git commit dash m write something. This is a test. Okay, you can see we have one file change. So that's this test. All right, now for the magic, we're gonna say git push. It's going to ask for your password again. It's writing it. Alright, now let's go check. Come here, we'll say commits. And there you go, you can see Andrew did his 37 minutes ago and I just did mine 24 seconds ago. You can click here and you see one plus. Plus one means one file was added. Minus zero means no files were deleted. If I had deleted a file, that that would be there. That would say however many files I deleted. Then from here, you'll see everything that changed. So this is short because I only added one thing, and it says here's the file test.txt, and it says hello everyone, testy test test. All right, let's go back real quick. Let's see Andrews. Which by the way, you see I'm I'm, I'm clicking on these commits, this little URL. So you can see, wow, Andrew added a lot of files. He didn't get rid of any, though. Okay. Come down here. Here's one file. You can see everything inside of it. This is, these are empty files. Here's some stuff, you know. 
Now let's say somebody edited, let's say somebody modified this file. Then let's say they changed this line. Then this line will be red and underneath of it there'll be a green line and it will have the changes so you can compare it to the old. The old one will have a minus sign and the new stuff will have a plus sign. So I think that's all you guys need to know. Uh, I'll probably write down the commands and send them to you guys too, but I just wanted to give you that that little introductory because uh, the Bitbucket 101 can be a bit confusing.